What's up, YouTube? Mini Mincino here, and welcome back to the mini cast. For those who are new, this is the weekly podcast vlog type show where I share with you some updates and talk about something that's been or that's on my mind for a little while. And um, this is actually the second mini cast for this week, so I'm I'm breaking tradition. So yeah, but I figure with today's topic, which is uh, kind of talking about the uh, Twitch ban on the blind playthrough tag and pretty much everything associated with that and ableist language and equality and stuff that we did I decided to get together with a bunch of people and uh, do a little do a, a super long podcast so I apologize for this one being a very very long one um, but before we get into that, real quick, I just wanted to talk about uh, the Unknown Empire real quick. So, um, tomorrow on Friday, December 11th, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern, I will make sure to have the schedule up on screen right about now. Uh, the Unknown Empire is hosting uh, its second 24 uh, hour Extra Life charity live stream on Twitch and also. Uh, the Unknown Empire website, which is theunknownempire.com. I will make sure to have links to everything in the description. And um, basically, we're taking turns doing a bunch of stuff on stream to help raise money for kids in hospitals and stuff. And that goes straight to uh, Extra Life, who then, uh, I guess, puts that money towards where it needs to go. Um, so yeah, come, come watch us. Come check us out. Come support the kids. We're doing it for the kids, and um, yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm actually really, really excited for it. And um, yeah, without any further ado, however, because this is so long, I am going to jump into it. I apologize if this seems rush rushed. I can words. It's, it's not two in the morning. I think it's past two in the morning. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys hear our thoughts on all the things and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Um, so, yeah, we might as well get started with this Twitch bullshit. So, like, I don't know when exactly the ban happened, but it was pretty recent. And there was a whole lot of shit. But, um, yeah, so... First of all, I should actually introduce who we've got going on here. So... <laughs> Uh, jumps at a call here with uh, Game and Botch, Ryers Erica, Yo. and Targe Bunny. Say Hello. hi, everybody. Hello, Hello. everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 guys, you're supposed to be like, hi, everybody. <laughs> hi, Dr. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, so, yeah, I did not pre plan how to do this. Which is awkward, and I'm not used to doing this kind of podcast, so this is going to be an interesting time. So Twitch, blind playthrough ban. Uh, yeah. Pretty goofy. Pretty goofy. <laughs> you know, like Garsh. Yeah. So. Oh, gosh. I guess. Uh, I guess we might as well get into how it kind of started, because like, there were a couple tweets posted by a couple people. And one of them was, uh, I need her name again. Uh, I think it was Aurelian. Ar Aurelian. I think that's how you pronounce um, it. After the, yeah, uh, something like that. Um, she's, she's what? The, she's on like the creative marketing team for Twitch or something uh, like that? Twitch, I, something like that. Yeah, it's community and yeah. creator marketing. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So I have, I have her initial tweet. And I have one of the articles open, and there was some other stuff that happened since this article, and we'll get into that. But um, I guess it was after this whole ban thing. She's happy to see Twitch has um, li has listened to everyone sharing feedback and uh, removed the blind playthrough tag to encourage more inclusive language for our community. You can still use first playthrough or opt. Uh, to use it in combination with no spoilers for the same sentiment. Who wants to give their thoughts first? <laughs> I'll go last. I volunteer last. <laughs> I volunteer second last. 
Okay. You know, that'd be cool. It'd be cool. great to hear from Erica because Erica's not, she's the only one in this call. I'll, we'll, we'll say this for posterity and whatever. Erica's yeah. the only one here who isn't legally blind. She's fully sighted. Um, but I thought, and we all thought, it would be cool to get like an impartial observer sort of from the outside of things to look at it um, and give their, their two cents on it because that's where this whole thing started really, it seems like, was from an outside perspective. Um, so it'd be nice to hear like, like another another angle from the outside perspective before we get into it ourselves and how it affects us personally. Yeah, I mean, on first glance, I can see w what she was meaning, like intending, that she wasn't meaning it to be malicious or anything like that. And at first glance, if you don't know anyone in the community or you're not part of the community, um, you can see that like, oh, like, I, okay, like, uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but it seems like a good idea. But then when you um, think about it, it's like, oh, but wait, it kind of just feels like policing language. Um, but at first glance, it does seem like something that's like, oh, okay, cool. Like Twitch is doing a thing. Mm -hmm. But obviously mm -hmm. across the board, it's not like that, right? So... Well, I think I think it... Oh, sorry, it's not my turn. I will say, I think it, <laughs> I think it really it really is like that. But yeah, but the, the what it is, um, what's actually being done is is silly. Um, yeah, no, I mean obviously this was done with people who are not in the blind community. Right. Right. Or at least, at least not not like I don't think there was much consultation at all in terms of that. It seems no. From what I've been able to read it anyways. Well, so no. There was consultation, but we don't know where from. Yeah, like, like from you, my understanding. Um, Somebody said something, but like we don't well, know who that someone is. It was more so like, what was her name? Aurelia. Aurelian, yeah. Aurelian or something. Yeah. Some um, some along those lines. Like she she's like an aftermath. She's just like, oh yeah, we did this, but mm -hmm. like yeah, that was her response. To yeah, it. my understanding is like Steven Spawn is the one the CEO of um, Able Gaming was more so spearheading this or at least brought up the debate about it, the discussion about it mm -hmm. yeah so and... oh go ahead <laughs> <laughs> yeah no so i i have i have some of his tweets here that that talked about um just paraphrasing um basically the whole thread started talking about um uh, you know discouraging ableist language in in gaming or anything in general like hey we shouldn't like you know insult people is kind of the what i'm gathering was the intent behind it like you know maybe don't be insulting toward people so like some of these terms are seen as insulting to people and i do understand that to a degree yeah that's great, that's great. um but then it got into like it just got so nitpicky in my eyes and there was this there's this whole thing uh that was that was posted about the blind playthrough tag and stuff like that. So here's here's what uh, here's what Steven had to say. Just as we used to say uh, "gay" when something was bad, using disability terms as an alternative word for uh, a negative situation or feeling uh, is common in today's language. But uh, just as we uh, stop saying gay to mean bad, we can stop saying these uh, these words too. Uh, think it, it about just... think about the words you choose. And then he goes on in another tweet. Whoops, my thing screwed up on me. He goes on in another tweet responding to somebody asking about the blind playthrough thing. Uh, he's he answers, great question. Blind playthrough or going in blind uh, can easily be uh, replaced by saying, uh, no spoilers playthrough or undiscovered or first if it's your first um, a blind playthrough would be to turn off your <laughs> turn your monitor off and that's not what most mean so I I'm not gonna read on but I have so many <laughs> like I just I, like okay there's a difference so, like let, let's just go let's just go strip definitions first yeah. There's blind, as in like a blind person that can't see. But then there's like the adjective, like the lack of awareness, is another definition of yeah. blind. Yeah, like literally like the lack of information. Yeah. 
Exactly. And so, like, I don't get it. Like, I understand some terms. Like, if it was talking about Blinky, Gimp, Baz, any of those, like, well, no, they're not all for vision impaired, but like. No, no, hold on. I was gonna say, I don't think Blinky's even a real thing. No, but some like, people use it. It's actually, it's I've, I've, like, it's weird. when I was in track and field, a lot of people would use it sometimes. That's yeah, weird. it's it's weird. I've heard it before. Too. It, it sounds it, too silly to be mean. Yeah. No, it does, I never took like, it seriously. Those, those but like, aren't, like technical terms for the word right. that I just described, right? Yeah. So I can see that way more if like one of those terms was used for this, I can see that way more being offensive. But blind is literally like the technical term. Yeah. It's Yeah. Like it's not it's it's not a nickname for something. Like it's not like people are using like how what what would you call, you know, someone who is transgendered? You would say transgendered. You wouldn't call them by any of the nicknames that you see out there, right? Yeah. And that's exactly what blind is. Blind is what would you call somebody it's who just, can't see? You it's just blind. blind. <laughs> like that's yeah. all it is. Yeah. And it's... in in like the thing here is I feel like the context is being wildly ignored. Um because yeah. it's like it's like it's like what you said, like blind doesn't always mean lack of sight, and it's very clear um that that's not what blind playthrough is referring <laughs> to. And no, Steven, I'm sorry. I don't mean to attack anybody, but that this does not have anything to do with turning your monitor off that is, or blindfolding that is yourself. One that is specific definition of the word blind. <laughs> and this, this doesn't have to do with sight at all. Like this has no. no nothing to do with sight or disability. No. And in my personal opinion, I don't think it should have been made into an issue because it's not an offensive phrase or term. And to say that it is to people like us and other people that are in the blind community too and just say oh these people are offended by it when really we wouldn't have cared if this wasn't even brought up like yeah. that okay. to me is what bothers I, me about this I, I have a question for you guys first but well, I haven't made my point yet oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> well I just had a question because like it goes okay. into like definition stuff how sure. many yeah. times have this is for mini and botch really but um how many times have you talk to someone that a stranger and said oh i'm blind and your the response is i'm sorry oh, and all like, day every day like yeah it's like it, it's it's it makes it all it's already awkward enough to admit you're blind to someone because like there's that kind of weird awkward feel yeah blind playthrough didn't have that but now no. it's just it's just gonna make people more awkward about the word yeah, yeah. and like um, i've gotten people responding to me going like oh i'm so sorry and i'm like for what it's not a bad thing and they're like oh i don't know how to react to it but then they're like most people have always been willing to like hear me out and, and learn from it from their kind of thing so it's like right you know for me for me the problem isn't even that they do that it's whether or not they're willing to learn from the response and just talking and having a conversation with people but like um, and, mm -hmm. go ahead go ahead that kind of leads into to my point too um like um the, the the main my main issue with this whole thing um is a it's a silly it's a silly thing to be to be upset about and be offended about because it's not offensive there's literally no like think about it really sit down anybody listening right now sit down and think about the 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 term blind playthrough and see what you can find that's offensive about that there's no negative connotation there aside from the negative connotation that's being created by this silly i don't even know if you could call it a movement because there's also been a lot of of blind people in the community who are against it just as we are um and who think it's silly and, and nonsensical and not necessary um but attaching um negative for, from people who are calling this ableist um and people who think this is ableist attaching a negative connotation to something that is not inherently negative it has never really been aside from like the olden days when people who weren't completely normal were shoved up into an attic and pretended they didn't exist. Aside from those days, it, there's never been an inherently negative connotation to being blind. You might sit there and think there is because, oh, it sucks, you're disabled. It's fine, you know? Like we have our own issues. We have a lot of things that we have to overcome just like anybody else does. Um, just like, especially any other minority does. Like, and I'm not comparing our struggle to any other minority either. Every, everybody, it's apples and oranges, but 
everybody's you know, got all, different struggles exactly. is what you're saying basically we're all we, we're mm-hmm. all struggling to overcome something um and if we're lucky we get to overcome those things like there's been so many positive movements lately about that and that's why this this whole movement frustrates me so much because this idea the idea of equality and of of getting um you know making sure everybody's treated the same and treated properly and treated well and equal that's important that's important as hell and this kind of silly um pandering to that is so counterproductive to that um and and in our case especially because of back to the whole my initial point putting a negative connotation onto something that isn't negative at all is that that turns that concept the idea that blind there's nothing wrong with being blind into the fact that or and see the idea that maybe there is something wrong with being blind because somebody says it's it's offensive to call somebody blind so i guess that must mean being blind sucks and is bad and mm-hmm. people should yeah. feel bad and, and hurt for being blind um and that is that is ableist um yeah and <laughs> I'll, I'll go into a bit based on that about uh a tweet one of the tweets that i've been talking about this so much with everybody um Excuse me. One of the tweets that uh, I saw and had to respond to, and I, I never respond to tweets. I, I don't like showing my face, but it really pissed me off. Um, there was one that said basically that um, the negative connotation from blind playthrough, because there was a lot of response to our Aurelian's thing, asking like basically saying why is this offensive. Um, this this person decided to say, well, it's implied. People basically don't want to be lumped in with something. And this one part I, I just don't straight don't understand. Um, they said people don't want to be lumped into something that um, isn't complete, whatever that means. Like, I guess a blind playthrough isn't complete because they haven't finished the game, if that's the context you're talking about. Um, no playthrough is complete until they finish the game, so that's just silly. Um, yeah. And then they went on to say um, people don't want to basically be associated with something um, that would, you know, lead them to believe that they're indirectly considered subhuman. Uh, so that is that subhuman <laughs> word. Is I the just, one I that, can't. Oh. That I can't when me. you when you posted that like what was it yesterday? Yeah, yeah. I, I just I'm just like I can't I can't. My subhuman that, though really. I just... That that one thing and I know it's it's <sighs> only one tweet so maybe maybe it's maybe, I I know that there's so many people who don't think that way um and, and this is in a sense making a mountain out of an anthill but that one tweet leads me to believe that the what i'm saying what my concern about attaching a negative connotation to something that is not negative is valid it's kind of case in point right there honestly yeah yeah, this is turning um this whole thing like i get it's not turning the whole thing negative because it's one tweet but it it's a sign that people can be can be swayed to believe that 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 okay well i guess it must be negative so it's it sucks and it's bad and evil and shameful to be blind because they're subhuman and I'm proud as hell to be who I, who I am. You know, like I, I've done a lot of work on myself as just as a person, as a blind person, as a human being. Um, and I've, I've, it took me a long time to come to term with, terms with blindness because, just like it, it, you know, in the past, it's taken a lot of, a, a lot out of people to come to terms that they're gay or that they are the the wrong. They were born the wrong physical gender than what they feel inside, or you know that they're um, from a different culture who you know, experiences racism or, or, or ignorance, um, yeah. just like anybody, you know, that's where the similarity between minorities falls is those are the struggles, you know? I mean, um, I'm still, I'm still working to come to terms with it myself. Sure. Like I know deep down, it's not a bad thing that I'm blind. Everything I struggle with is just internal Valid. stuff, internal yeah. emotional stuff that has kind of been piled on me over time and whatever. And that, that's a whole, that's a different discussion that I'm not going <laughs> to, you guys but, can you know, look at my other mini casts if you want to know more about that. Um, but like, it's still like, I know just like deep down, it's not really a bad thing. And then to have like this happen and have, you know, people start, honestly start thinking that kind of way again. Um, just, it's it sets, it to the sets everything movement. back. It's like, it yeah. started from a place of good intention, but the thing about taking something away when you're trying to be inclusive, um, that in its of itself is not inclusive. Right. Um, exactly. Like you took away a term that did not bother anyone. So now anytime someone says blind playthrough, it's just going to be associated with this offensive thing that didn't exist. Um, yeah. Like 
it offended nobody. Like, literally, <laughs> like, nobody I've spoken to that also happens to be blind has been offended by it. They're like, why? Like, we literally exactly. didn't care until literally and, right now. And, like, the term blind, like, if anyone actually did have an offense to the bl blind playthrough, it's most likely because they haven't come to terms with their blindness. Yeah. Rather but it's, so then they would they would equally get offended by terms like blind date or blind side any anywhere exactly that, right yeah like, exactly. It's, it's not that's, even like that's a whole it's a like, point yeah. that's a whole different aspect but like most likely that's where if yeah, anyone's going to be offended actually it's offended be, by it it's gonna yeah be it's yeah and like i've yeah. seen people i've seen people joking online it's like oh should we should we ban the term speedrunner because like certain people can't run. Yeah, should we ban or walk people? through? Or <laughs> yeah, or walk through because there are people who can't walk. Or my favorite one was uh, we can't call it no spoilers playthrough either because that might offend sports cars. That one made me. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's like at what point? Like and 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 like Twitch at one point said like this is. I hit my mic. Twitch at one point said like this is only the beginning in trying to help improve things for, you know. Uh, disabled people using our stuff, and I'm like, that worries me. If I'm well, honest, I, I don't know. I think this is see. This is why I think podcasts and stuff like this are are important because this is where like, and, and obviously contacting Twitch directly. This is how because it is just the beginning. Twitch is still fairly new. It's in its infancy. Granted, who knows how long things will last anymore because people change their minds and, and change what they like on a dime. But let's say for the sake of argument, Twitch is going to be like the next big like, and will stay the next big huge internet thing. Um, if this is the beginning, this is the time to correct mistakes like this, you know? Like, sure. To jump on it, before, like, nip it in the bud, and, and just determine for ourselves, as our own minority, um, what we decide is offensive and what isn't. Yeah, um, it just and, it just worries me that whether it's whether it's anything to do with us or other people in general, like it just worries me. Like, it's just like if they're just gonna like ban other terms, like seemingly regardless of context, like they've done here, it's like. At what point are we just not going to be allowed to dock, you know? And I realize yeah. that's that's like an exaggeration kind of thing. Like, if that happens, that's not going to happen for a very long time. And I hope it doesn't. Um, so that's that's just like an exaggerated thing, I guess. But like, it, it is still kind of like, you know, uh, how what can we say now that isn't going to offend somebody for some... Honestly, it just feels like an arbitrary reason at this point. Yeah. Yep. Like, that's just what it feels like. It's just, like, it's so intense. I have a really hard time believing that they had someone on their team who is actually blind put input into it. Because hearing from your guys' perspective, and then just from my perspective, like, I can see it at a glance why it looks like a good idea. Because it looks like a decent idea to people who aren't, right? Because right. you're like, oh, inclusive language, stuff like that. But I think the problem is that people are trying to speak um for others right yes because that is, that is yeah issue. yeah, yeah. And, i mean part of the problem with like this issue in general is that the per the people that brought it up is an organization that is meant for disabled gamers so like because this organization spoke up they just like they probably assume that there are people within that organization which there probably are that have that have vision loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there. So, I mean, there probably are a few people that have been offended by it, but like honestly, the vast majority, like nobody asked I mean, for I, this. I, I nobody asked for this. I, I searched for blind playthroughs because I love watching like Zelda playthroughs and stuff. So I've and I 100%. love watching people's reactions to them. I literally I searched for them constantly and was ne never even considered. That's offensive. One of my I favorite Let's Plays, like, sometimes I'll throw in a Let's Play before I go to bed, and one of my favorite mm -hmm. ones to watch is Rock, Paper, Mario's playthrough of Shenmue, and that was a blind playthrough. Right. And it's just right. so chill and so much fun, and it's just, like, yeah. I get to hear this guy rediscover this game, like, every single time, and it's great. Yeah. I just have a hard time believing that even if they, you know, do obviously have... Um, blind people on their staff that this is the first thing they asked for. I have a hard time believing mm -hmm. that this was like the main topic of discussion above everything else. Right, because this is so small it's and so what tiny. seems to be so far down the list of priorities. You know, like it's just it's so strange that this became such a an issue that they, well, I don't even think it's that big of an issue because a lot of people haven't even heard about it. But it's just weird that 
that that would be this would be the thing for ban the word blind you know the word that people actually are uh, and the, the word that has already established itself as applicable in multiple different contexts you know what we should just ban the word human because it's offensive to people <laughs> we should also ban the word people because it's offensive no, to humans we should ban the word human and people because it's offensive to the word subhuman you know <laughs> I have a That's quote it. somewhere, I just need to find it. Um, I do know at one point, uh, Aurelian did sort of have, like, a halfway apology? Yeah, I saw that too. About- I, I haven't seen the tweet myself, to be honest. I, but honestly, I do I know- I do really... know that it exists, and- and mm -hmm. she was like, I mean, I don't- I can't speak for people, I guess, but like, so... I don't know, She's it was not... like- it sounded like a half apology? I don't- I don't know. I mean, she's I could read been... it out if you would like to. Yeah, I mean, if you if you happen to have she it. Was she, she's like, she, she basically said, "I'm here to listen, but I'm not the right person to be angry at." And she was angry never at. my. She was never the person that I was furious with either. Like she's oh, doing no, her job. Oh no, See, she's doing her job. I'm she's not angry at. Things. I'm not actually no. angry at Twitch. I'm sitting here going like, "Why? Why? Yeah, this sucks. Exactly. This doesn't need to be a thing." But I'm not actually mad at anybody because like. I do genuinely believe there was good intentions while 100%. doing this, but like, it's just, it's it's like one of those things, like good intent gone bad kind of thing. The like, only, the thing that really got me off, like ticked off, sorry, not got me off, got me ticked off was the, the subhuman thing. And that wasn't her, sure. that was on her And that was, that was just thread, somebody else. It wasn't her. Yeah. That was somebody else entirely that had nothing yeah. to really do with it. Like that was somebody else's response. Exactly. She didn't um, say anything inherently offensive. She's just, she was happy that the movement went through. Um, for, and, like, if she because, genuinely again, believed like, it was something good, then, like, right, you can't exactly. really blame her for it, you know? What Erica said, like, at a glance from somebody outside of the, the situation, that it looks like a good thing. Yeah. Um, it's, it, and it only, it, it really doesn't take much digging to understand why it's not, but it's, like, why would you consider digging into it if you're just like, oh, well, good, now it's more accessible to people. That's all you need to know. I like, think, it's not all yeah. the case. I think what Twitch didn't anticipate was that people are gonna kind of view the blind community in a different light now. Like people who, they are gonna be people that are gonna be frustrated that the word blind yeah. is banned, right? And then they're yeah. gonna directly view the blind community as a as bunch of sensitive, yeah, as responsible yeah. and a bunch of sensitive people who like, who like can't yeah. deal with a term blind playthrough when that's totally not the case and that no. you guys obviously, you know, when I talk to you, to all of you, that that's not something that you guys were referred to have right. been done. As, that there's so many we're not alone. We're not I'm, alone sit with that I'm sitting here going, I appreciate the intention, but yeah. excuse me, let's be real. We didn't ask for this. And there's, yeah, there's been so many, so many other tweets and comments about, about the same thing from other uh, like legally blind people who literally say the same thing. Like this is not necessary. No, um, and it's just going to create I, a I, lot of animosity towards your I've, way. I've suggested not, this. You know, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like, I've suggested this so many times. I'm like, you know, if, if Twitch wanted to make things more inclusive and stuff, like, why not put their efforts toward, uh, you know, working on making their website and their apps more accessible to screen readers? Like, if, if anything's going to help the blind community, it's going to be that. Practical um, application. And yeah. like, like and and for me that would be a fantastic start. Granted, I don't know much about coding and programming, and I'm pretty sure it would take a long time to figure out and get right. But I mean, if you've got people dedicated to that task and working on it, like it'll happen, and that's a really great start. Yeah. That's yeah. I, I mean, for example. Yeah, I mean, for example, I saw recently um, on a stream I was watching like a bigger streamer, and I saw that there's op there was option for closed captions. Now I don't know if that's across the board for everyone, and I realize it's kind of like it mm, it's kind of iffy because um, there's obviously multiple people like in a Discord call, like people overlap each other. But I'm yeah. like, okay, so they're trying to do something, right? Yeah, and, so, and not just not just like like hold a torch and, and mob on uh, like ban a word they're doing something practical it's something that actually even if it's, it misses the mark it's something that that will legitimately possibly help or at least it's it's on the path of towards something that will legitimately like, yeah like it might not be perfect people. but it's something yeah. and it's going in a good direction that, it's like, like that, that kind of thing can be improved too. upon and mm -hmm. over time it can it'll get better and better Whereas, what does this do in the long run? This just censors people for no reason. 
Yeah. I will say I have seen one uh, visually impaired gamer actually being mm, semi support. Sure. Of this movement, like, and I'm just sure. The... How so? Hold on. How, go on. How so? Go ahead. Like, sorry. Yeah. So it, it, it's basically just from a different point of view, I guess. Um, sure. And like, he, his tweet was very like politically correct i guess or whatever like he was trying to be like non-confrontational but yeah, um yeah. it's from steve S S uh sailor i i follow him I, yeah I do. so yeah changing the term blind playthrough is not as a sjw's being super sensitive this is i've said this before first playthrough is a better description anyways i personally am not offended by it but i don't think it's the term that can but I do think it's a term that can go away. Language changes over time, so let it. Okay. I I mean I saw some of that. I have I have thoughts about that because okay, so for for me personally, I'm sitting here going like the tag itself, I really don't give a shit about. I don't no. care whether or not that tag actually exists, regardless of the ban. It's just for me, it's more of again the implication that something's offensive when it's not and I mean again whether or not the term can go away or whatever like language yes language evolves there are other words to say the same thing sure but I don't personally think that's the point here no it's not the point the point is like this is a very very small correction don't get me wrong like there have been so many more offensive awful things happening to other minorities sure but like this kind of movement will will inevitably, like Erica said, a it'll spawn backlash, um, and b it'll it'll put the idea into people's heads that, well, that's just one more, um, you know, group of people who we have to worry about offending, um, and there there's already so much backlash about about legitimate groups who don't deserve to be offended and don't have shouldn't have to to worry about going outside every day type thing who do have to do, deal with that. And again, we're millions of miles away from that. We're not even close to that, but like, why would we, like, it's not a good idea to just think think this of this as one small little thing um, because it's already changing, you know, it changed one person's mind, or at least it, it made one person more vocal about what they clearly think about blind people. Um, and that's one person, but that one person could turn to two people, could turn to 10 people. Like if it, you, this kind of, behavior for for a movement that is meant to negate um discrimination and 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 derogatory stuff this movement is is going in the exact wrong direction this I is not the way to do it yeah no i remember reading a tweet uh, like a response um about the change and someone going oh my gosh i never even realized i'm so happy we changed they changed this Basically, it was what yeah. some and it's people like, were But saying. there's probably a reason you didn't realize it before because it wasn't a thing. Yeah, it didn't. It, need it's to only a thing, a thing because like somebody decided to say that it was all of a sudden, and it it really wasn't. And like I I I do believe in you know um, like like I said before, like I do believe in you know, trying to be inclusive and, you know, trying not to offend people if at all possible and stuff like that. But, like, at the same time, like, you can't please everybody, no. for one, and just taking away words is not going to solve the issue. And I... Just just all the, all the negative connotations isn't helping. I do believe, though, that um, it could also go the other way. Like, yeah, people might uh go in the direction you were saying botch but like i do also believe that if somebody else is willing to uh you know hear us out kind of thing it can be turned into like a learning experience like something good can come of it if we can 100%. be proactive and just talk and be like hey like here's our thoughts let's not attack anybody but here's our thoughts this is these are our opinions this is what we think this is how we feel Very um sure. You know, it can be, it can still be a learning experience and instead of like one where people are just like, oh, well, blind people are like this, I guess. And um, I think that's what needs to happen. I think it, an actual dialogue um, w like between Twitch or whoever um, and the blind gaming community needs to be open instead of just this one organization. Like yeah. there, there are so many blind 
um, gamers and streamers and stuff like that out there. And and let's even expand it further than that. Like so many disabled um, streamers and, and gamers and, and whatever. Like there's there's community upon community. Like we're just one small one, right? Like, yeah. There's so many who who would have invaluable input into this and and steer it in the direction as the target audience, like the, the demographic that's being um, like like looked at right now. Like we have the ability to be able to steer it ourselves if we're given the chance. Yeah. And well, and, and like the thing I, the, the thought I have at this point is like, yes, right now this has to do with the blind playthrough tag and stuff like that, but it could affect far more than just that and far more than just blind people, like mm. depending on how things play out and what people have to say, like this could have well, implications further down the line. Yeah. What's up, Tarsh? Well, supposedly part like a positive thing has sort of come out of all this in the sense that um the same day that twitch announced that they weren't going to uh, that they were taking away the term um the video game awards announced that they're doing descriptive video mm, now that's, that's cool. i mean that's cool that that's way too much of a coincidence with how much those two organizations talk and stuff. That like, yeah, yeah. obviously, something was the but discussion see, that happened months ago. Yeah, probably sparked a bit more of a discussion of how can we be more inclusive, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, and like the thing with that is they actually did something proactive. They're like, okay, mm -hmm. well, let's literally describe it to people that can't see what's going on. And like that's yeah. a really that's a really good thing. Like I personally don't need that kind of thing, but I know plenty of people that do. And like that's that just makes application. yeah, that's, that, that's like that's works. the kind of thing we need rather than yeah. just taking away words. Because yeah. honestly, at the end of the day, they're just words. And I mean, there are some words that are meant to hurt people. They were derived to hurt people, or at sure, least they evolved but into hurt people. Not blind this. is not one of those words. Blind, blind is not one of those words. Uh, this is, and it's not even like. I'm mad and, and passionate about this because of the subhuman thing. That's really where this stems from for me. Yeah. Um, and it's, again, it's one person. It's probably petty of me to be this upset about it. But No, I, I get it. But, like, no. a word is just, it's a word, you know? And especially words that were never meant to, to, to you know, spread hate. Um, it, it's, it's a small little five-letter word that just describes either a person um, if, if they're, they are blind or, you know, a, a thing that like, like your blind side or sorry, your blind spot if you're driving or you've been blindsided or a blind date or whatever. There's also like YouTube has blind reacts. Is that going to be banned now too? And if that's the case, like what, what's next? Like, where does what it other end? Things? Yeah. Like what, I, what else is there to take away? Where is it going yeah. and where is it going to end is the question at this point. Mm -hmm. What's that? Erica? Oh, I was... <laughs> I was gonna say I feel like um there I feel like people who come from that perspective like that person who was saying subhuman I think they come from a perspective where they don't know personally people who are disabled True. and they view people with with disabilities as like oh they must have like such a horrible or awful life or things like that like I've mm -hmm. told you guys about how I have a cousin who's like wheelchair bound and he's like uh a little bit delayed um but that he's honestly very happy he's a very happy person if you were to see him on the street yeah some people look at him like they're like they feel bad for him and that's not really what disabled people want right no not at all like you don't want to be looked at as like oh poor you and i feel like that's where that person's mindset is because they kind of low-key view it that way because they don't know people who are right. disabled in their life so they don't I have the experience I think it's probably a combination of that exactly and of them thi thinking the context is more about like like the the word being banned is more about related to game than people you know what i mean like, i don't think they thought enough into it to understand where they were where it's coming from from a blind person perspective i think they're they're thinking about well you know it's it's like just a, th a thing that Twitch is doing, so deal with it, kind of thing. And I don't even, I don't even know if that's fully it either. But it's like, it's just a very, very impersonal um, reaction to it. You know what I mean? Like they, in the sense yeah. that they, they have no relation to it at all. Yeah, I mean, I do think that something good can come out of this because in the past they have gotten, you know, 
it, it's taken backlash for them to change things, right? Sure. Like, for example, I watch uh, Sweet Anita. She has Tourette's. Mm -hmm. um, and oftentimes she acts, well, part of her Tourette's is so, oftentimes some of her tics are swear words sometimes or even sure. slurs. Um, and beforehand, before um, people knew more about it, like Twitch would obviously, you know, take down or ban someone for saying those kind of things. Yeah. But since, you know, there's certain streamers who got popular, they were like, oh, wait, let's look into it. They can't help it. Right. Mm -hmm. And so they changed it. So I feel like there could be good that comes from this and have a yeah. discussion about this. I think it needs to be a discussion too. I think like, and not just because the word blind got banned. That's really, again, it's small potatoes. It doesn't matter. Um, it's just, it's the- For the me, it's not the word in, in question. It's just yeah. what this whole situation implies and the precedent exactly. that it could set. Exactly. Um, Cause for me, like, I don't give a shit what word it was. It's just, I mean, like this kind of thing has happened before with other situations and like, you know, it's been nothing or it's been everything like it's it's, 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 it's not it's so, great it's you not you cannot I, predict the course that this thing will, will take yeah no, i can't thing. i feel All like I... a lot of this just comes from the fear of people offending others mm -hmm. yeah and i feel like because people have gotten i guess what you can call it, like canceled over a lot of really small things so they're God, you know cancel culture. There's, <laughs> oh, there's, yeah. there's people who are trying to be proactive right and they're trying but they're kind of like missing the mark right well, and that that's it time and time again like like cancel culture i think at its root is a, like it's done really good things it's got rid of a lot of nasty disgusting language in our society and and i like with the language obviously that's just like that the almost whatever you want to call it, tangible aspect but it's the ideals that it got rid of of that it's f fine to make fun of people who are mentally challenged or who are you know different cultures than us which is just like none of it makes any sense if you think about it like why would you they're just born the way they're born just like anybody else um but like cancel culture has done good things it's just now that it, it's basically cancel called culture on like suppressing fire like it's just like a machine gun going across the, like it doesn't matter who it hits it's it's not doing the right amount of, like the, it's not it's not accomplishing anything it's not like i don't know how to like it's not paving a way forward it's just basically spraying bullets everywhere and yeah. anybody gets hit it doesn't yeah. it doesn't accomplish anything Which i mean in the least it's opening up a conversation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you can say that right yeah that i mean that's the one good thing about this granted this isn't a conversation that necessarily needed to happen but now that it is like it's we it's might as well take advantage way. of it and try yeah. to make something good come of it and it's a good way to spread awareness of how you know actual blind people and again i'm not speaking for all blind people i'm speaking for myself and i yeah. think the group that we have here like that's it's our chance to talk about how we really feel and how we feel is that we don't want people to walk on eggshells around us we don't want people to think that being blind is a bad thing it's just again it's where you're born that's all it is i will say it I will say, mm -hmm. growing up, I wanted nothing more than to be treated like everyone else, and I was not. That's why I ended up where I was for a very long time, and that's why I struggle with a lot of things now. Like, yeah. that that stuff carries weight, and that sticks with people sometimes. And if anything, um, this kind of, this doesn't, unfortunately, does not help uh, as much no. as they intended it to. And I do, I do fully, like, I just want to be super clear. I fully respect that uh, everybody at Twitch was just like, we think we're doing something good. These 100%. concerns were brought to us, so we want to try to address them as best we can. Like, I, I don't want this to come across as these people are dumb or whatever, because I don't think that they are. I Twitch think that is evil. Twitch is, like, just trying to... Twitch, you know, I mean, I do, <laughs> I do believe that Twitch has, you know, things that they could work on, but who doesn't, right? Yeah, um, exactly. And at this point, it's like, you know what, I think these were, the people that were behind this were good people that were trying to do a good thing based on what they had at, at the time. And unfortunately, what they had was not a clear picture, I don't, I feel, anyway. No, it um, wasn't. It, and it definitely wasn't. It was, it was, you know, good intention uh unfortunately gone bad and what they had yeah know. what it was 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 they were approached by a reputable source saying this is offensive and in in again in in today's in 2020 if somebody tells you especially somebody as supposedly a, a reputable representative of that general community if somebody says this is offensive then you either jump on it and and 
you know, nip it in the bud or you get canceled. Yeah. That's kind of what, and I, I, so I, I don't blame Twitch at all. Mm -mm. I just, I don't, I don't think there's any stop. one person to blame kind of thing. I just think things kind of got a little out of hand Yeah. and stuff happened as a result. And I feel like at this point, all we can really do is try to give our thoughts and try to make something good come of it. Uh, because if there are people that are being swayed by that, maybe they'll maybe they'll hear this or somebody else saying something similar, mm -hmm. and they'll hear this other perspective, and hopefully they're willing to hear both sides of it. Yeah. And even if they decide not to gr agree with our side, because of course you can't make anyone, maybe like at the very least, um, somebody just gained a new perspective today. You know. I mean that'd be cool. Uh, you know, stop somebody else from thinking that we're subhuman that's yeah i mean you can't you can't force that obviously that's up to the person no, you know that's up to the people we're we're talking to or whoever's listening or whatever um you know we're not we're not going to control what you think because we can't and and whatever but you know again hopefully somebody is willing to hear us out and that's yeah. all we can really ask for that'd be cool and be really cool. if you have heard us out and have thoughts uh feel free to share them even if they happen to disagree with us because maybe you have some sort of point that we haven't considered yet or something and then we can all learn something from it in the end potentially very likely you, you know, know? Like, like it's, it's always healthy to get multiple points of view on on this kind of thing um just to, to that's what this whole thing really should be about is educating people yeah um like like uh, this that's what this podcast is is about um, you know, that's what that's what the attempt of like Twitch's attempt was about was educating people. That's that's a good thing. It's just it needs to be done. I think, anyways, in in a way that really, really, um, a like all parties involved in in the, the topic get their say, um, and b in a, in a way that you know doesn't end up like kind of trampling on the very thing that you're trying to accomplish, which is what I, again like what I feel this movement does. I think it, it, it's hypocritical. And again, I don't mean that in like an accusatory way. I just think that's what it seems like to me. It seems like making, putting, turning something negative that isn't negative in an attempt to make things less negative is negative. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit, it's, it's, it's like two, two wrongs don't necessarily make a right. And exactly. Even if those, despite, the, the despite those the wrong. good intentions involved, mm -hmm. like I, exactly. you know, it's it's unfortunate but um i think i feel like unless anybody has any closing thoughts that we may have gone over this pretty well so if anybody has any further <laughs> thoughts like feel free to feel free to say it's hard to just uh, giggling over there. <laughs> i have some closing thoughts personally yeah. from like sure. the perspective of someone who isn't disabled necessarily right for people who don't understand or they have this not negative connotation but they feel bad for people who are disabled like right. try thinking about like something that you were born with and no one's gonna no one's gonna say oh i'm sorry because you're born with black hair or exactly. you just or you're born with a darker complexion or a lighter complexion you're pale or you're thin like no one's gonna say oh i'm so sorry so kind of think of it kind of in that way rather just like oh i feel so bad for you type of thing because i know on the media kind of like we've been told like like in oprah or th shows like that they bring people on who like suffer with these things they just shower them with gifts and we're all supposed to feel sorry for them but not that's not necessarily paper. yeah that's not necessarily what people want and no. majority well i i say from you guys you just guys just want to be treated like everyone else and just yeah. with respect you don't want pity because it's definitely at the end of the day not what anyone wants to feel 100 no, no, no. percent. pity it implies again it's like <laughs> to me anyways it implies that you, you people think you're less than them people think that you're below them um and that again reverts me or like makes me think anyways back to the, the subhuman comment you know and that's not that's not what anybody wants nobody Pity in the right way, sure, is, is, is a really powerful thing and it can, you know, help somebody feel a lot better, but it's not always negative. But in, in the case of an entire minority being looked down on um, for their lack of ability, um, which can be compensated for in so many different ways, in so many different contexts, like it's, it's not necessary. Don't feel bad for disabled people. Just if they need help, help them. 
And if they don't, then make friends with them anyways. Just talk to them. Just like anybody else you would on the street. Or don't yeah. talk to them if you're, like, introverted or whatever. That's fine. <laughs> no, I, I totally agree with that. Yeah. Ditto. <laughs> That's all it is. We're, we're just people like anybody else who aren't really looking to be put in the spotlight. Despite some movements and, and whatever. Um, nah, I'd not... like the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, though. You live in the dark you're blind. <laughs> also, okay, so since since we got to this lighter note, I just want to say, like, blind jokes, as long as the person in question is cool with it, go for it. Oh, it's funny as hell. If, if oh, somebody, you know, like, I'm just like, you know what? I've I've encountered so many people that like I'll make a blind joke and they'll be like, oh god, is that is that okay? I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it. You know? <laughs> do it, do it. Because I'm like, because <laughs> I'm just like, because like again, like they're worried about being offensive and stuff, and I and I understand that. Like if that's something you're concerned about, just ask. Just ask the yeah. person you're talking to because everybody's gonna be bothered by different things. So like honestly, if you're worried, just ask. And you know what? That actually leads me. Okay, you go. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, in all honesty, most people can tell the difference, like, most of us can tell the difference between a joke and, like, when you're actually being malicious. Yeah. An actual derogatory comment. Um, 100%. And, and that leads me into my thing, though. Um, if you have any, any questions in general about blind people, just, or any, I don't know, like, I guess I can't speak for everybody because there are those people who will get offended by it. But, like, I don't know, I just, I feel like, to me anyways, the idea of asking for the sake of learning is super cool and important like you want to you want to mm -hmm. learn about stuff you want to learn how you know people who are different than you function and get around during in life to broaden your own perspective and to learn maybe maybe gain a little empathy as opposed to sympathy or you know just just gain some perspective that's a really yeah. cool good thing don't be afraid to ask questions just oh no just, i'm not be afraid of discussion 100 percent no, I've I've always been like to say, but that's why I ask you guys questions all the time. I feel yeah. like, and even to <laughs> other it. people, I mean, I've asked so many questions to like um, a person that I knew who was like half blind, and I asked so many questions because I just was very very curious. And you know, it's mm -hmm. sorry, keep yeah. going, keep going. No, like as long as the person is okay with it, like definitely open up the conversation and learn some yeah. new things. And you know what? Yeah. And if they're not comfortable, to say, you know what? I don't want to answer that. I'm not comfortable. Exactly. Yeah, like, and that's all, fine all too. All the person has to do is be like, you know what? I, I prefer. You know what I love that you do though? And like, this is not to like be like, everybody should do this kind of thing. It's just, it's just like you go, like, it's just a thing. And you go, you've gone the extra mile and you're, you're the reason I was inspired to work on the texture pack and everything. Cause you straight up like looked up, oh, hey, how can I? Like, you just straight up looked up, like, accessibility packs and stuff like that. And you're like, I don't know if this will help, but I'm, tr like, you're clearly, like, I'm trying to learn and I want to know these things and, and help my friends. And, like, I personally, I really appreciate that. And, Nobody and has to do that. Like, mm -hmm. even if you're just like, I'm just going to ask questions and whatever, that's totally fine. I'm just going to, like, all you really got to do is just treat us like you would anyone else. But the extra mile is appreciated, I will say. 100%. Um, and that, that actually also goes, again, towards that point of actual practical application. Like, instead of just sitting there feeling bad for somebody, Erica went and looked up how to make it better. Yeah. And for me especially, like, I could never play Minecraft. I can play it now because I can see stuff. It's and it's like, dope. I don't I don't want to say that to imply that, like, everybody should do no, that. No, like, no, I would love it if, I would personally love it if everybody did, but, but... It's not. It's not like a requirement kind of thing. Like you don't have to go out of your way to do that. Um, I mean, it is I always don't even appreciated. Know if I'd love it. But... I don't know if I would love it. I would feel kind of weird, you know, like. like... Well, okay, but like I, I, like I, I think it would be really neat because um, it's just like everybody's trying to learn on their own. And, and, that would be and, cool. That aspect. Would yeah, be cool. like that. That's what I mean by that. I don't. That's I don't fair. mean like everybody has to like cater to my shit. No, I don't want. I don't <laughs> oh, want yeah. that. Yeah, um, and it wasn't but, just that. It was like so that we could all enjoy a game together. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. Cool. And like that's that's what I appreciate. You're just like, you know what? Let's let's get everybody in on this. And in doing stuff like that, like in in stepping up and, and doing like looking into things to help somebody with a disability. Like you're gonna get credit for that pack just because you're you were the insp like you ended up you ended up kind of inspiring that. So. Aww, you know. thanks. Yeah, like, dude. Like, <laughs> going that extra mile like well, i appreciate like i'm gonna appreciate it you know and nobody has to do that it's it, you know nobody's gonna be lesser for not doing it or or, or whatever mm -hmm. um 
it's just but a yeah. thing. And if it does happen, I appreciate it. If it doesn't happen, like, I still appreciate people. So, yeah. You know. I mean, it's kind of just like my way of kind of like in- including, you know, yeah. um, Botch into being able to play with me without having without having to struggle so much so that we can both play a game, we can both enjoy it, we can both have fun, yeah. right? Sure. Yeah. And, and I love Minecraft now. I never really got into it before, but I thoroughly enjoy it now. You were very hesitant. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Gosh, long oh my god, Jesse, I'm excited to give you a UE server tour. I'm so pumped. It's gonna take, <laughs> it's gonna take three hours, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna show you the whole damn continent. Terrifying. <laughs> Even though, like, unfortunately, you won't be playing on it for very long, but like, you can still yeah. see it in yeah. person, kind of thing. And I'm excited for that. But I think we've kind of, I think we've kind of hit our wall at this point. I don't know about you guys, but I, I mean, think I we've talked for hours. But that's I'm better. sure. <laughs> I, I think we've, I yeah. think we've covered it fairly thoroughly. So, mm-hmm. um, at this point, we're gonna we're gonna call it. But if anybody watching has any thoughts they'd like to give on the situation whether it be about twitch the language thing the ableist thing everything we've talked about feel free to share your thoughts even. Like, yeah any questions about, about give your thoughts or whatever give your thoughts ask those ask those big questions don't worry you're in a play we're not gonna bite your head off for asking anything it, don't worry about it being a dumb question i've gotten responses like that too don't worry about yeah. it just if you have a question you have a comment you have a thought feel free to share we love you. Anything, any, I will say, <laughs> anything goes aside. I'll, I'll draw the line at something like, do you go to hell because you're born different? <laughs> I, I, won't let that, I won't touch that one. Okay. <laughs> any, anything else, though? <laughs> Wide open. <laughs> the, uh, the automatic answer to that is no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Targe, you're not helping. <laughs> all right well you know what we're gonna call it for today's episode so thank you everybody for watching i hope you found it interesting thank you uh botch erica and Targe for being here thanks for the and chance. giving your it's thoughts good to talk about it yeah 100 yeah. again thanks everybody i will also say for, for watching and, and bothering to take the time to learn about it because this is as much of a non-issue as the word blind is this whole topic of discussion is is very important i think and, yes uh, will go a long way to really establishing equality and inclusion in society. Yes. All right. (laughs) Yeah. And with (laughs) that, I will say once again, thanks for watching. Um, Please feel free to check out anything else I have on this channel. Cause like I've, I've recently been trying to own the blindness thing and being like, you know what? This is part of me. It's going to be part of my channel. So definitely check things out. Um, And if you haven't already, feel free to follow me on Twitch and join the Minchino clan on Discord, and I will have links to everybody uh, in here as well. So check everybody out in the description. And until next time, you guys, I promise we will have a semi-normal schedule next week. Mini out. We're all out. We love you. Bye. (laughs) Bye. Love you. (laughs)